Wonderopolis.org, they say, the origins of the French fry have been traced back to Belgium, where historians claim potatoes were being fried in the late 1600s. According to local Belgian lore, poor villagers living in Meuse Valley often ate small fried fish they caught in the river. Belgium is where it all started from. And why are the French fries called French fries if they should be called Belgium fries? Google, how did the French fries get its name? American soldiers stationed in Belgium were first introduced to French fries during World War I. As the official language of the Belgian army was French, soldiers nicknamed the delicious fried potatoes French fries. The name stuck, and decades later were still giving credit to the wrong country. That's how. That's how. Should consider calling them Belgium fries? Hmm, doesn't sound that tasty. Yeah, actually. <laughs> I think Belgian chocolate sounds tasty, moreover, right? Yeah. So, let's get started. Hey, Google! Help me wash my hands! Okay. all set yeah, that, with the apron and the, the hat <laughs> do you like curry cup do you like cup of or do you like Tablespoon of butter first yeah. goes in the pan. Carefully. Carefully. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> A Himalayan pink salt. Yeah, that's why it looks pink. Very cheesy. Looks very cheesy. No kidding. Let me, let me get that cheesy. Mm. Now I'll add 
some um, onion powder and some that's correct anyway yeah. so where should I open it? that here yeah sprinkle some according to your taste okay yeah that's enough stir 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 sauce is ready and it smells delicious delicious you mm. taste it now i guess So let's keep our cheesy sauce aside for now. And let's move on to our next component. So here are the ingredients for my second component, which is chicken fingers. You can call them nuggets. So the ingredients are egg, flour with the um, corn flour or, um, mixed with normal flour. And then some uh, herbs. herbs, and then some ginger garlic, ginger garlic mix, paste, paste. Yeah. And, and then that's some, some paprika, paprika again. and here's some um, ginger uh, onion, onion uh, powder, and here's some salt. Salt, yeah, and some fresh pepper, fresh, fresh pepper. Uh, crushed pepper. Huh? Yeah. So first we are going to do the, uh, the chicken marinade. With some uh, boneless, boneless uh, chicken. Yeah, what were you saying again? Right. Mixing bowl and drop all the ingredients except the flour. So first let me know. These two. Yeah. All right, let's get going. Okay, take it easy. One finger at a time, I am, and, and then put just them coat it with that oil, and, and it, then sorry, put the flour, and drop it into that piping hot oil. And this has to be done by an adult. Never try yeah. this. Crispy chicken fingers. I smell it. It's so tasty. It. Give it. Give it. Give it. Crispy, yummy. Yeah. Hold your horses there, Rohail. Don't. Even you. What? Now, here's how we're going to assemble it in a pan or any 
any of your uh, presentation dish we will just put out some of those shanks yeah I get it he's too hungry all your horses yeah we'll leave some space in the center there you go And look yummy and top it up with those fries the part is we left out a little gap in the center remember like a donut hole there so what we're gonna do is get in that warm up some of that cheesy delight and Scoop it onto the center. And an elephant. What's with him? <laughs> there. So <laughs> that's what we call it now. <laughs> A cheesy lava chicken fry. Dig in. Dig yep. in. They say it would be fun to dig in. They say it would be good to, if you dig in. They say treat to die and delicious. I hope you'll try this recipe. Hope you like this video. Try it. I. You can find the ingredients in the uh, description below. This is Rohel and Cosmo. Signing off. I mean, eating off. Breaking news: Someone has not subscribed to this in their Please subscribe now.